hi Bernard and hi uh, anybody else that would be interested in this function. We're talking about the hold function from MIDI guitar to the standalone version. It does work in uh, Logic or any other DO I would guess since it's not sending out MIDI on from the audio channel in the same way it does as a standalone version. Uh, I have here an audio track loaded in Logic. Uh, I am going to try and reproduce the same function within Logic, but it's somewhat of a technical workaround. So you'll need two pedals in this case, one for the sustain and the other one for a function of turning a, a function on and off. Uh, so let's start in the beginning with my sustain pedal. This is the one. It's a classic piano sustain pedal. This is going to send out MIDI on MIDI 64 all the time. Uh, I have this pedal for on and off. It's also sending out MIDI on the same channel actually, but it doesn't matter really. It works as an on off because I assigned that function to that pedal specifically. So you can have a, an expression pedal or you can have a, a sustain pedal or whatever kind of knob or a, a thing you want to use to control this with. Let's go into detail. I want a software track here. I have want to have a synth on it and I want to be able to play my guitar over that synth. Uh, activating the synth uh, with my pedal. So I'm going to choose Alchemy here. Just because I did in another example. So I don't have any sound on my MIDI guitar here for now. But for the sake of the example, it's probably best. So now I have, and it's also sending out information to to the synth on the software track. The idea here is to be able to use the hold function or the freeze function on the synth. Go to the MIDI FX slot scripter. In scripter you go to the factory channel filter and we use the option to filter out anything coming from MIDI guitar. So this is a, in, in uh, this is a, an on and off function really because I'm going to assign my pedal to this on and off button here. So yeah I can use just the, the old way of uh, showing you how that would work then. So, now it's uh, only listening to information on uh, channel 2 here. Everything coming from MIDI guitar is sounding on MIDI channel 1. So when I turn this off, it's going to listen to information again from MIDI guitar. Turning it on stops it from listening. Then Bernard, uh, go to the view, show smart controls down here. You can press this button so you know what you're looking at. Then you have something called parameter mapping. Go to this little part here and click and you'll see Volume, Main, Scripture and Alchemy. 
uh, go into main and at the bottom you'll find MIDI insert bypass scripter. This is the function we're after, bypassing this scripter. So now I have this function up here. If I press the learn button here now and then press my pedal, I have actually assigned my pedal to that function. So let's try that. Pressing learn, pressing the pedal. I'm pre pressing learn again so I won't uh, have a logic learn a lot of other things as I go along. So this should be read as we continue. Now this scripter should go on and off as I press my foot pedal. It does. But it seems to be on in the position where I would consider it off. So let's look at the invert button here. It doesn't work. So go in click invert here it's you have some open function here open invert and then it's off in what i would consider the off function so now i have this paddle here controlling the channel filter so it's now it's off and listening to MIDI guitar. And everything else coming in on uh, MIDI channel one. For instance, any sustain pedal uh, messages on CC64 that I've connected to this little pedal here. So if I want that freeze function, I must have the first pedal in the down position that would be the filter off play forward press sustain then press to hold now i can release anything and play Same thing again, if I want to release this hold, I use this one and it starts listening again. So I want to use a new chord, press sustain and press lock or hold. It's somewhat of a technical workaround and it only works if you have two paddles or any, you can have a keyboard and assign one button to this on and off function. But this is how I would do it. You go down in the parameter mapping here, look for the scripter bypass uh, function. Worth noticing since it's quite possible that well, some of the assignments you might uh, do uh, needs to be done again or at this little cog wheel you can go in and uh, delete all uh, patch mappings it's quite useful to have if you want to redo anything or without having to erase the whole setup that you're working with so uh, good luck with your assigning bernard and I'll uh, talk to you later, I guess.